Thank you for joining. This is live with Miami East Community News, and I'm Michael Miller. I'm going to be the straight man today. I'm here sitting over here with Emilio Gonzalez. People are looking at you and go, what in God's name are you about? So tell us. Well, I am Emilio Gonzalez. Thank you so much, Michael, for having me today here. I'm a tattoo artist for 28 years. I also do body modification and performance all over the world. I've been already in more than 99 countries. And... Uh, in this opportunity, I'm making one of a kind tattoo convention here in Miami. The best tattoo artist from all over the world is coming in just one roof. We have 450 booths. That's mean 900 artists. It's 450 separate booths from yes, artists sir. from all over the world. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's gonna be at the Youth Fair site yeah, at the end of September. Yeah, yeah, we have people from more than 84 countries coming. People from Romania, Bucharest, South America, Asia, everywhere. The best tattoo artist in the world is going to be present here in Miami, 29, 30 of September and October 1st. So one of the things you learn as you get a little bit older is try not to judge somebody by the cover. So when I first met you, I go, what is this guy about? Why is he like this? Yeah. So my question to you, you've had a lot of these tattoos and a lot of this body mm -hmm. work done for how long ago did you get your, your first first? Work? Well, I did my first tattoo when I was 11 years old. My mom almost killed me in Venezuela when I get it, you know? But uh, now it's my profession. I'm living really good from this. Like you say, you cannot judge a book for the cover. And uh, what do you think now about me after we it's have 30-minute conversation it, already? It, it really is amazing the kind of work you've done around the world. You've done, uh, you had shows, all right, uh -huh. in Venezuela. For how mm -hmm. long did you do shows? 18 there? years. My shop, my shop is uh, 28 years old over there. And I have this tattoo convention called Venezuela International Tattoo Convention for 18 years. I also did it in Romania, in Bucharest, in uh, Cyprus, in all over the world. And now it's time from Florida. So when I, when I look at you and I try to understand what I'm processing, it's like, if I can take this mindset, which is, this is what I thought when I first saw you, and now it's beginning to change that you're a real human being behind Thank this you. right here and in business and been doing it for a long time and you're committed yep. to, to having this art form mm -hmm. available to, pe to people. Yeah. What, what causes somebody to finally go, I want to go get some uh, artwork, some tattoos done? And what is the mindset that you hear from people? Well, you know, right now it's very popular to get tattoos because a lot of the you know, like the famous sport guys, the famous actors and actresses, they, they get tattoos and it's, right now it's more like normal. But you know when it was hardcore? 28 years ago when I started this, you know? But um, right now it's very popular. People go and maybe get the face of any parents or any names, you know? Or some people, like right now, people know more about tattoos than before and they come they look for a specific artist to make a whole body a whole bag and it's something like cost money and time so you're going to have some some great artists that are there mm -hmm. tell us some of the the people that they've done tattoos on well we have Jomico moreno he's the main artist for uh, the rock one johnson we have stefan alcantara the artist from maluma the the, the reggaeton music uh, famous artists uh, we have the one who do tattoos for the popular messi and emilia you know these people these of artists. course of course and, 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 and i know and i know also the collectors, the collectors. And, what yeah. is a collector collector is the guy who get the tattoo like messi like the rock we have uh, uh, maluma all these people one of the things we recognize in the olden days people who drove motorcycles were bad guys yeah yeah Hell's <laughs> angels and all of a sudden we start realizing you know, 20 years ago, maybe you'd start seeing accountants and lawyers and politicians mm -hmm. on motorcycles. And all of a sudden, it went from the, the bad guy to like, oh, they're pretty good. Yeah. Well, also the quality of the tattoo changed with the pass of the time. Those tattoo you was looking 20 years ago on the biker doesn't exist anymore, you know, because right now is the artists make really art on this. You, you know, now the, the skin is a canvas for an artist. You know, and a, a, a good tattoo is not cheap. You can pay maybe $600 an hour to can get your back done and you need maybe uh, 50, 60 hours 
So when right now the people who is getting tattoo is people who really know what they want. So you mentioned uh, a collector. That means yeah, a person. Yeah, collector. Uh, uh -huh. be like if we had a, a painting up on the wall, mm -hmm. we'd be a collector. We put it up there yep. for other people to see. Yeah. So in this case, lots of times tattoos are you can see them, but also there are many that we can't see. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that process for the person who receives it. They have it on their chest and they don't show it versus on their hands. What's the mindset with that? Well, you know. The people who really who really love tattoos is the one you cannot see it, you know? Those young kids who get tattoos on the face, is funny because I get my, my face done 24 years ago, but my shop is 28. Wait, wait. You had your face done 24 Tw years ago? 24 years ago, yeah. Were you married then? Yeah. I got married when I was 18, and I still marry with my lovely wife, and I still love her. We have two beautiful children. I have a. We're gonna my, show. My, we're, we're gonna. Can we show that? Yeah, that yeah. Of course, of course. I. Here that's my so wife right there. That's my older son. He's twenty five, and he is a tattoo artist. And that's my beautiful pumpkin, my daughter. She's twenty two, and she's also a tattoo artist. We are a tattoo family and I business. I see that very nice card. What is that about? Sixty six. Oh, yeah, sixty six. Sixty six. You're Yo! right. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have some cars and uh, at the shop. That's our where, shop where is in the shop? Pompano. It's in Pompano. We also have a tattoo supply company. We make our own machines, needles, ink. So we are the ones. To your credit, the longevity of you in this business, mm -hmm. all right, is to be commended. Yeah, and yeah, to yeah, be yeah, able to be a not only a supplier of that, but being able to promote other people. Because yeah, when these yeah. exhibitors go to your show, they get they get a following from that. Yeah, of Do these exhibitors also go on many different shows throughout the country? All over the world. People who is coming here, we have we have 50% people coming from America, from all the United States, but the other 50%, we have people from China, we have people from uh, Taiwan, Japan, Romania, Bucharest, we have Spain, people from all over the world. There are people that travel to go watch sports. Yeah. Right? And, and we saw the world trials with the women the other day or a couple of weeks ago. It was tremendous. And people get in the plane, they yeah. go to, to see their artists, if yeah, you will. For, the, for, for your people to understand, the people who, the audience, the All Star Convention is like the Super Bowl for American here. You know, like it's something like unique, like you travel to go and see. It's like an experience. So all the people from all over the world, they want to show up here. They're going to bring the collectors. Collectors maybe travel from Germany, pay ticket for, to come here, hotel and everything, just to show to everybody here in Miami those three days what it's all about. So a collector might go to show and I want to get such and such an artist. I've been following his stuff. Yeah. I want him to do it. And it goes home and tells his family, yeah. this was done by so and so and he's a good yeah. guy. Yeah. Right. So we have here, here in Miami three really big art shows. We have Coconut Grove Art Show, the uh, one in South Miami, and then we have Art Basel where people from yeah. all over the world come to see their favorite artists. Mm -hmm. So it's like that, except for the we, canvas is the skin. Well, my goal is try to be they are Basel for tattoos. Wow. And thank you so much because you put in a little bit to help me to grow up the tattoo culture here in Florida. It, it really is amazing in the last 40 minutes when I first saw you up front, the difference in trying to understand a human being for what's inside and not take the stuff that you have all yeah. over and let that sway me as far as prejudging you in a negative way. Thank but you. can we talk about some of your, your yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, on your yeah. head? But let, let me tell you this something. You know, I've been with my face tattoo for 28 years. Many years ago, I was very angry with people when they look at me. And, you know, but now, you know, I say, I don't need you understand me. I try to understand you. <laughs> right. And, and when we recognize when it's about them, all right, it's about them rather than ourselves. Yeah. Life, life gets better. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about... You have these spikes on your yeah, head. Yeah, the implants. How, yeah, and the implants. So how do they stay up there? Well, I can scroll out. All right, folks, watch it. He's unscrewing it there. Eloise, we got this. Bam, ba, da, da. Oh. And you see, you cannot, you don't see too many. You right. know, it's just that one I put in when I want to impress people. <laughs> <laughs> so the implants, I have the, the silicone implants on my head. I also have it for 28 years. I have my arm. And, and that's real. That's not a sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was asking me. And and the most funny part is this one. Look. Oh, let's see this. 
Do we, can we get a shot of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Split tongue, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like you was asking me before, people who is like me, you know, like I is really committed with this, like I tell you before, I get my, my face done 24 years ago and my shop was tw is 28. My shop was very successful in the first four years. So then I decide to get my tattoos face because I, I decide, I told to myself, you know what? This is gonna be your profession. This is gonna be you. This is Emilio Gonzalez. You don't want to be anybody else. And the most happy thing in life is make something who make you ha who make you happy, and you get paid. Yes. <laughs> so let's go a couple more things. Yeah, so yeah, we go course. back to the so show. So you have these big earrings yeah, up top. Yeah, we have the earrings. And tell us plugs. about this right here. This is a plug you need to. I was two years stretching little by little to can get this size. Also this one. But this one, you need to open the hole in just one time. It's one of the most painful things I have in my body, you know? And um, Amazing. this is me, Emilio Gonzalez. And could, could I assume that you have a lot of stuff on your yeah, chest yeah, yeah, and yeah. your back? I have, I have all my full And your body, legs too? My leg, yeah. I have 85% of my body all tattooed and for like 20 years ago. So, I regret. Yes, I regret. Why what, I regret? the remaining 15%? Because, no, because... I want to do like before the artist was doesn't have too much skill like right now. So my only regret is I did it too fast. And today I couldn't get something better. <laughs> things, things get better. So you yeah, have yeah. all you have all these artists that are traveling across the world to, sh to show up here mm -hmm. and to make their their services available. Uh -huh. So let's say that there's a tattoo on. Let's talk about yeah, on your four your fingers. You have mm -hmm. it looks like a star mm -hmm. over there. How long might that take one of the, your art, the artists that are there? 20 minutes. Tw is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Also now, you know, you remember before people, oh my God, pain, tattoos are too much, too painful. Right now, we have a better machines. Machines who doesn't sound, I don't know if you hear any time when, when somebody make a tattoo, you hear like, Meh. well, right now doesn't make noise. Right now you have numbing creams, like you can handle more pain. You know, everything, everything, you know, go with the with, with the times and, and right now the technology, even on the tattoos, you can get better tattoos and, and pay and paying less. OK, so on the tw on the 29th, which is a Friday, you're uh -huh. open from four to ten on that day mm -hmm. All right, on the 29th. Tell us about some other things people will be able to do at the show. Oh, my God. We have 15 different shows on a stage every day. We have people from Circo do Soleil coming. We have the best performance from all over the world coming here. We also have some freaks like me, but we love it. Coming from France, we have the Black Alien. Black Alien is one of the most popular guys right now in the world. He's, he tattooed himself all like an alien. So he gonna be there taking picture with the people. This is a, I know for some people, some really like aggressive, you know, but this is a family convention. You know, you can come with your kids. You're gonna have foods, you're gonna have nice cars. You're gonna have beautiful girls with tattoos. You're gonna have handsome guys with tattoos. You also gonna have shows every day. You're gonna have live music, bands, everything. So always, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. This is a big deal. Yeah. All right. And how far in advance do you, do you need to start promoting this to your to the artists to one, come down there? One year, I I this took me two years to prepare everything, but right now we're gonna do it every year. So as soon as we finish the first week, I get a little vacation with my lovely family, and then I start again preparing the 2024, the All Stars Tattoo Convention 2024. Yes, it's, and, it's the only way to make something successful. So. The question is, Anne, how does the, the does the public know about this event? What's going to draw them to go there? Well, you know, Miami, Miami is the city with 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 more tattoo people in the United States. You mean people artists get, or people people or, or who get clientele? Yeah, yeah. So we have around two hundred shops from all Florida. All these people already have their own customers, so. Everybody already know we are we are expecting for like at least five thousand people on Friday, maybe seven thousand on Saturday and Sunday ten thousand. Why Sunday ten thousand? 
because I do a suspension show. Suspension show, I put some hooks on my back. Yeah, yeah. And it's something amazing. I did it already in 99 countries. And for the first time, I'm going to do it in the United States. So do you have hooks in your back? Not right now. I need to put it straight away the same day. Yeah. Wow. So people are going to come to see the show, to see other people that look like them, to be able yeah. to, to visit some of the artists that they've heard about, mm -hmm. meet some new people. Yeah. And the people that go there, will most of them have already have tattoos? A lot of the people, of course. 80% of the people are tattoo collectors from all over the world, but we have 20% of people who doesn't have tattoos and want to get a really good tattoo for a better price. You know, and also some of the artists here to get a tattoo by them, you need to wait a year because it's all about appointment. Now it's not like before, you know, now you need to look for your artist. If he's really good, he's going to give you an appointment. That appointment can be a month, two months, three months, one year. It's an amazing process as you try it to go is. through it. The old, the, what I see in my head, you, you know, you're down in some sleazy area of mm -hmm. Los Angeles, forgive me, all right? And you go, oh, let's go in there. All right, come on in. They got the big thug sitting no, around. No, no, it's not. You know, here you have uh, the Sturges, the, the, the bike. Yes. Like people, hundreds and hundreds of people getting tattooed every day. But you get what you pay. You know, if you get a $50 tattoo, you're going to get a biker tattoo, you know. But if you go to here and you and you decide one good artist, you're going to have one nice canvas in your body for your whole life. How does the artist come up with the design? By by the customer. You come to me, right? You know, before. And they start drawing it of out. Of course, before you go to a tattoo shop and you decide uh, a flower from their wall. And maybe you go to the beach and... 200 people have the same flower. You know, right now you come to me, I draw in your ideas, I make a sketch, later on you go home, I work in that for today, and I send, I, I show you what it is. If you like it, we do it. If not, we change the design So you're again. not just a designer. Yeah, no, we you're, are created. You're, you're, yes. And we make, we make people's dreams come true. You know, the, the, some of the people, of course, people who really, for example, it's sad, but uh, some of the people come because any of the family die for any reason and you or, or any of your pets, you know, and uh, they come to you, you know, with uh, pictures and we try to make something to bring you something like you remind that person forever. You don't want to get, imagine you go to get the face of your mom and the artist make you maybe the neighborhood, you know. <laughs> Before, can, can we put, we have the web address? Can we put that, run that across the bottom? Thank you. So what are some of the, the trends now with tattooing? Well, right now it's very popular, like the Polynesian styles, you know, a lot of, right now in Miami, what people is getting like crazy is the face of Messi. Oh my God, that guy changed everything here. Yeah, everybody want to get his face. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody want to get his face. I don't know why, maybe, you know, too many for soccer, soccer, uh, you know, fans. And, um, but a lot of the people, they already have in mind to bring some, uh, some ideas, you know? So the per person walking, I'm here, I'm going to find a, an artist here. Yeah. Right? They're going to look around, they're going to look at somebody and they go, okay. Yeah. And let's say they don't know him. They're going to say, here's what I was thinking about. Do some come in with a beginning drawing? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody, when you go to this kind of like like the people who go into the convention, they are like really top quality artists. All our customers is people like really, you know, right now it's very easy to find out a really good artist because the media, Instagram, Facebook, before yeah. 20 years ago, that's okay. that was hard. Do, do people walk in with photographs? Yeah. And they say, yeah. here, I want to do I want I want this. And if we like it. We make it, but we always make a change so to make something better. And, and so I noticed you have different colors, yeah, but, yeah. but it's predominantly, what color would you call this? Well, this is black, what we call black, but remember, this is a 28 years old tattoo. It's not the same, you know, the quality, the quality of the ink is still good and better, but, um, but you know, it's, it's a really old tattoo. Also, the, my face ones. So let's talk about a person that says after five years, listen. 
I got Mary Lou on my shoulder. I'm, I'm just Mary Betty. How do I take it out? Well, before before we make cover ups, you know, but right now we have the laser removal, you know, so we can do laser like three or four sections and then we can make a better tattoo on the to cover that one. So, but now it's more easy. So we know that, that South Florida is, the, I think, the, the number one or two place for plastic surgery. Yeah. All right. And tattoos and everything. Yeah, so we, we, we're getting to realize that the people, we do that as human beings. We go get a haircut a certain way. Yeah. We do Botox. We do this or that. And we go to the gym to look better and to, and to feel better. So when people leave this uh, tattoo, uh, when they walk out of your studio, mm -hmm. what do they tell you? When they're, they say thank you, do they give you a big hug? Are they crying? Are they laughing? We, everything. Have, we have a little bit of everything. People who cry because they never realize it's gonna be so nice. People who come, who come with a big problem and, and making a tattoo make it feel better. And and you know sometimes we are also a psychologist, you know, because of we course. listen then we give some advice. Sometimes you have a client for eight hours in your chair, so you know that's gonna be one of your best friends for the future. I want to make sure we have the the web address site. It's yeah. the All Star Tattoo Convention. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. That's the one. All right. So, so some tattoos can take a long time. Yeah, of to course. Do. Sections. We have. I have a customer. We did it already. Fifty-five sections. You know, it's people who get the whole body. Like, like you were saying, we're gonna have a immigration lawyer at the convention. An immigration lawyer. Yeah, because a lot of the artists right now oh. is asking for a for a you know for visas to come to United States. And uh, this guy, you see this guy, and you never thought he have a tattoos, and he's full of nice tattoos. He have, he maybe have like two hundred thousand dollars in tattoos in his body. Yeah. <laughs> so let, <laughs> let let's go over, and I know I'm jumping around, but let's go over some of the things you can. On 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 the different days, it's for three days, from Friday yep. to Sunday night, like. So you're having a belly dance show. You're in an aerial show, and what is the Indigo Human? Pin cushion. What is that? Oh, she's a girl who is really famous here in United States, and she do a lot of different uh, performance shows. She also be at the uh, Guinness Book Record, and uh, you know she gonna do. And, and inquiring minds want to know: Is there gonna be food to eat there? Of course. Of course. We're gonna have Spanish food. We're gonna have American food. We're gonna have Asian everything. So I see Friday night late. There's a fresh tattoo competition. Yes. What is that? Fresh tattoo competition is a tattoo you don't you make at the convention. You have from ten in the morning to nine o'clock to finish whatever you start. Okay. So the collector has to be there. It the, has to be there and be there getting tattoo for like twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> now people can handle. Uh, uh, it's too it's too painful for me. I'm so too old. <laughs> if if they were an artist on a different canvas, they would paint it or and they would hang it up on the wall and, and yeah. Do it. But in this but, case, but it's in a this human case, thing. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have, what is the Aussie blood presentation? Oh, well, this guy is also very famous from Las Vegas. He do a freak show, you know, and uh, he going to be there also. He went to America and go talent. He went over there. So we decided to bring him here because we have 15 different shows every day. We have dancer, we have music, we have freaks, we have tattoos, we have art collectors. We have, we have this guy, Devon. Devon is uh, the guy who drawing people on the subway. He's in. He's right now the most famous and popular artist, you know, right now in this age. So he also come and we're gonna do a best canvas competition. The tattoo artist also can drawing on canvas and get a trophy for that canvas. Okay, the mention heel tattoo competition. What heel is that? tattoos is need to be at tattoos of re or of course heel for less than two weeks so it's a lot of people making a big tattoos all over the the, the body and it need to be heels and that's going to be another competition we have heels tattoos and fresh tattoos okay the polynesian show tell oh, us about that this is people who come from polynesian to do the haka alive here is 12 artists you know and they're gonna they come from tahiti to do the show here that's amazing we have that on uh over here, so maybe we can show to people. Do we have a video that we yeah. can put up for a moment? No, that's that's a, that's my favorite because my dream. <laughs> so 
it's Sunday. Sunday. Sunday at five. That's October first. Yeah, this is amazing, and uh, I is always want to bring those guys to my convention in Venezuela. But it was a little longer, so it's too far. It's it's intriguing that you put together a pretty significant show. Yeah. So if we took it out of this, <clears throat> we said it was 450 booths for selling parts to trucks, right? Mm -hmm. I could I could certainly relate to that on a different level, but that is huge, whether it it's trucks or tattoos. And and then you realize that because you're in a unique business, it's more significant. Yeah. And it's a business like somebody who belongs to the industry can make it happen. All right. So you have what is the glass walk? That's people who, who work on glass, you know, and, and make shows on the top of that. And the spinning spinning shea? What yeah, that? That, that's that's a girl who do concursion and also do a strippers in, in a pool. You know, we have aerial 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 competition. People from Circo de Soleil is coming to make a show over there. So all those shows you see in Circo de Soleil, amazing. We're gonna have it here, and the ticket is really cheap. You yeah. don't need to pay all that much money. Your family go. must be very proud of the work that you've done. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and, and my you, dad you, is still alive. He's 86 years. And congratulations to him me. and to you yeah, for, you. for have that driving force to be able to make it in this arena. Mm -hmm. And you recognize that when you have the, the business of being able to do tattoos and supply products for people mm -hmm. in that in that field, it means that you 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 grasp it pretty well. Yeah. Most of us, we go to the store and we pick our stuff yeah. up and then we leave. In this case, you're, you're creating the, the, the content, the, the material they need to be able to mm -hmm. have their, their craft. So, tattoo industry is so huge all over the world. It's like a, some people doesn't realize that, you know. But right now, like I say, I have 28 years in this industry. But right now, people figure it out like uh, people with tattoos, we work hard to make it good. Some people with tattoos are bad. Some people with tattoos are good. You know, you have everything. Amelia, when did you know you really wanted to be involved in the tattoo arena? Well, I did my first tattoo when I was 11 years old. I studied medicine in Spain, in Canary Island. I did four years. When I come back to Venezuela, I couldn't do it anymore because on the university there, don't let me go because I was full of tattoos. So I decide when I was 18 years old to open my shop in Caracas, Venezuela. Is the shop right now have 28 years. The first year was hardcore for me and my family. My dad stopped talking to me for a year because of this. Because of the business. Yeah, yeah because I supposed to be a doctor. And look who I am right now. But now I'm successful and I'm happy. So after one year, when I opened the shop and business started going good and, and it hit so on me like this is because if you go to your house with 17 years old, full of tattoos, studying medicine in Spain, and you come back to Venezuela, you tell your dad, hey, you know what? I'm going to open a tattoo shop. He will die. My, my son, the tattoo artist. Yeah, you know, so. But there was something inside you at a young, much younger age that was driving that, you to be this entrepreneur. I think, I think the love for what I was doing and also I always believe in me. You know, I decide, okay, this is what I want to do. I need to be the best doing this. And that's, that's my advice for all the, all the people who are starting in something. If you put your heart, you know, I went to a tattoo convention this, this Sunday and a girl come to me and say, hey, I want to buy a, a tattoo machine, and, uh, but I don't know if I want to spend that much money. And I say, the question is not that. The question is make you the question to yourself and ask it. I really want to be a tattoo artist because if you really want to be a tattoo artist, you need to invest in what you want to be like, an, every, like everybody who decides to do something. When I start this business, I barely can eat, but I always have the best ink, the best machines, and now it's, it's paying me back because I trust in me and I trust in what I want to do. Miller, we have a few, few seconds left. 
But I want to tell everybody they can look up at All Stars Tattoo Convention. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the end of September yep. at the Youth Fair site. Yeah, right? they can go online and Google. And, yeah, and, they and can put it. the All Stars Tattoo Convention. They will find it's 29, 30 of September and October 1st, where Miami Day Fair Ground. Come and check it out. Thank you so yeah, much. Uh, thank you very much I for being here. I have a wonderful time with you over okay. here. Terrific. And thank you for joining us, folks. Remember, take care of yourself and your family. Have a good day.